morning, and welcome to The Cable Show. It's good to be with you. Television. It opens a window on our world. Storytelling is the most ancient of human endeavors. It lets us learn our history, share a laugh, feel a thrill, celebrate, and even mourn together. The very best stories live on cable, a medium of exceptional value and unparalleled quality. Americans spend a lot of time with our products, and they get a lot for their money. And cable is on an innovation tear, expanding the video experience to any screen you want, any time you want, and anywhere you want. But cable is more than just great TV. It is the conduit of our future. A cable is a significant innovation in its own right, but it's also an important contributor to another innovation on this list, the internet. The internet is heralded as the greatest invention of our time, and it is. It empowers every one of us to learn, create, and publish. It has transformed industries bolstered economies and overthrown governments. The power of the people has never been greater thanks to this amazing interconnection of networks that cable proudly delivers to millions. But not very long ago, getting online required zen-like patience. It used to sound like this. <laughs> And it used to look like this. Everyone, everyone wanted something better. We wanted something more powerful, something more useful. Some even wanted to use the internet to practice magic. We wanted our internet faster and faster. And we wanted it always on. What we wanted was broadband. Cable industry heard the cry and answered the call. We invented the cable modem, just a box to most people, but from this box, the world's information doesn't just flow, it gushes. Now internet access is fast and always on, and painful dial-up has been put to rest. But our industry has never been content to rest on its laurels. We are on an endless journey to deliver an exceptional experience for American consumers and businesses. Moving forward is always good, but it takes energy and effort and money, lots of money. Cable had to dig up a lot of streets and string a lot of wires across a lot of poles. Cable had to invest, and we have, to the tune of $200 billion since the mid-1990s. It was risky, and truthfully, not everyone was a believer. There is much to believe in now. Cable now serves over 50 million broadband customers. We have worked hard to reach nearly everyone, offering service to 93% of American homes. But an engine that doesn't have the horsepower isn't worth the effort. That is why we have increased broadband speeds over 1,500% in a decade. Today, cable networks capable of delivering 100 megs or more are available to 85% of all households. This is an achievement envied around the world. And while speeds have skyrocketed, the price for consumers has not. All this has been accomplished with private investment and the government's light touch. America is an innovation powerhouse, largely because of the internet we helped to build to nearly everyone. Thanks to this world-class broadband infrastructure, America is home to the world's very best internet companies. But despite our success, Many people like to denigrate U.S. broadband by painting false comparisons to other countries. Certainly there are some nations doing very well, but it's foolish to compare countries like 
France, and Latvia to the United States of America. The land mass of the U.S. is 3.8 million square miles, much of it rural. And we are home to 316 million people. Our challenges are different, but our results are nonetheless impressive. If you compare U.S. states to hundreds of foreign countries, 10 of the top fastest regions in the world are here in America. And we are flying up the internet speed charts. In 2009, the U.S. ranked 22nd in the world. Today, we rank 8th. Average peak connection speeds have tripled over the past five years. But like everyone, we want to deliver more. We want every American to have access to broadband, rich, poor, urban, and rural. We don't cherry pick the most lucrative customers or the elite users. We serve everyone throughout our footprint. Now, if America has one serious communication challenge, it's how to close the adoption gap. We still have one quarter of Americans who have access to broadband but have not yet gotten online. And we want to help fix that. Cable has launched adoption programs throughout the country, offering low-price broadband to low-income American families. Programs like Connect to Compete and Internet Essentials are helping get all of America online. One great example is the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Oregon that is partnering with local cable operator Ben Broadband to close the digital divide for hundreds of families. The group's executive director says of the internet, there is no way for a child to succeed anymore without it. Besides education, broadband is enabling more job opportunities, better health care, closer community connections, more power to more people. To help our children and citizens succeed, we will continue to empower our customers to go where they want and do what they want using the broadband connection. The cable industry has always believed in an open internet, and we will continue to embrace it. It's our job to manage our networks to keep the internet humming as the world's greatest engine of innovation. We will continue to meet the explosive demand for internet capacity, investing, innovating, competing aggressively, but always fairly. This is the American way. We will not rest for one reason above all. We want America to soar in the information age. Cable is the platform that makes our digital dreams come true. You will see it, you will feel it, you will touch it, and experience it this week as cable puts on a show for you. You'll discover a world you thought you knew and find that there is much more to know. And you will leave more excited about the future yet to come. Thank you so much and enjoy the show.